The Flower Festival is the largest ever event at Blackburn Cathedral and it's drawing in crowds from all over the north to see the exhibits. The Flower Festival is a huge celebration of the finishing really, the completion of the building work that's been taking place at the cathedral which is the first cloisters to be built in any cathedral since medieval times in England. So it's a real, real, you know, fantastic time in history really for Blackburn. It's taken two years to arrange the exhibition and the displays are wowing the crowds and stimulating the senses. The, the colours are, are fascinating inside. When, when you get inside, you will be overwhelmed by a blue colour, um, which is uh, um, part of the description of the sea, which is being interpreted down the aisle. Um, and then around the outside, the interpretations of the journey, um, which is a set of paintings done by Penny Warden, uh, which describe the final days of Christ's journey on, on, on Earth. The designers believe they've come up with something unusual and original. We were given a brief that they wanted greens and grasses, so we have got green petals. There are five enormous green petals with curling ends coming up in towards the centre, and then inside that we have five smaller petals, also the same shape, coming up but it's like a rebirth, a regeneration of flower. The exhibition is the culmination of the building work and also the completion of the courtyard and office spaces. Well, Cathedral Court was conceived um, by myself 20 years ago and it's to fulfil a vision that William Temple, the founder of the cathedral, had in 1926 when the cathedral became a cathedral for Blackburn Diocese. And we brought all the people to live here who would normally live next to a cathedral rather than being spread out. And there's also a chance to pay tribute to relatives with flowers. Um, this is called a remembering. Um, and so we're giving people the opportunity to remember mainly somebody who may not be here with us anymore or who might not be uh, in, close by anymore. Um, and people buy a flower and they buy a little phial with water in, which means it will be alive for the duration of the festival. They write a message on the uh, tie a message to it and then they put it in this uh, this ring which as the festival progresses will get more and more colourful um, with all the flowers that are going in um, and people pay a donation and that donation is now be is being donated to uh, Derrien House which is the children's hospice locally. And the public agree that the exhibition certainly has the X factor. Absolutely stunning, it is really different, quite different than flower festivals I've seen before. I think my favourite is the very big one just outside there, I'm not sure which part of the church it is, but the huge flower. Very, very impressed. It's not what we like, but it's extremely impressive. Uh, we can't wait to see the whole, the rest of it as well. It's wonderful. People are already asking when the next exhibition is, and the organisers are wondering just how they can possibly top this display. Roland Gent, that's Lancashire.